W6 RIP and I am making a brand new antenna. I'm using 26 gauge speaker wire, not speaker wire, 26 gauge wire, stealth wire. I got it at a ham radio outlet, uh, man, a couple years ago. And I dug it back out and I'm making a new wire cut just like my speaker wire that I use on Soda Summit. So my other wire 16 gauge, this one's 26 gauge. We're going to map them out almost identical depending on the wire thickness and all this other good stuff. So I got it hooked up to the meter right now. I cut it a little bit long. Uh, I cut both legs to about 18 feet. Um, so I have some room to trim. We're going to get somewhere down into the uh, 16 and a half foot range, 16, 16 and a half foot range. When I first put it up at 18 feet, I don't know if you see, I have, you can't see it, but I got one leg going right there up to the uh, the tree and I got another leg going right here up there hope you didn't get blinded by the sun I have it hooked up to this uh, little binding post just like normal and I'm not gonna be able to see that but it's basically saying that it's good for uh, 12 uh, 12 megahertz so we got a little bit of cutting to do and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it on the end right here I'm gonna trim it, splice, um, you know, take the cover off and then reset it up. It's a little bit easier than trying to um, cut it down there and get it all mounted back up again. So I'm gonna cut it here and uh, put it back, feed it back in and uh, see where we can go from there. So, so I'm going to cut this one a little bit, a negative. Cut it about, about six inches and then we'll splice it. Positive side, I'm gonna cut it about six inches. Pretty damn good wire, I admit. Come on, get there. So this is gonna be good, it's gonna be tough. I like that. Um, I try to do something with speaker wire, 26 gauge speaker wire, and that stuff just like pull apart super easy. Kind of a joke. Home. Are you doing for your home? So, that is good for um, just a little bit more. 12.9. I was at 12.6 before, so now I'm at 12.9. Um, really didn't do much. So, I know I need to cut off at least another man, almost another foot, probably. But I'm gonna do six inches. do is I can take that and measure about how much I want to take off of this leg so it stays about the same you want to keep it somewhat similar you saw in my other video that they are within an inch of each other so sure that this stays off the ground. I don't want to ground it out. Alright, so, off the ground. We didn't really pick up much. Now we're barely in the 13, 13 megahertz. So, definitely got to cut more. I'm going to go about 8 inches. And do the same on the red. What I really want to do is keep, um, this binding post somewhat close to the ground because that's the way I run my kicks too. Could be running it on a rock occasionally. Okay, this is like a good spot, something that I would normally be doing on a mountaintop. Just off to the side up in a tree. 13.7. 13.7. Let's go about another little part of the band. So maybe I'll do about three inches. Okay. 
since I'm inching in on it, I'm going to go about another three inches. Um, that one got me about 200.2. I'm going to go about another 0.2, so I'm going to go about another three inches up to each side. Okay, if I'm a little too long, I don't I definitely don't want to be too short. Okay, that's right at the 14 megahertz range. 14.063. I'm dipping down to one to one. And I got about three feet on this guy. So now I need to throw it on the kicks too and uh, see what it comes up with. Take it on all my hikes. And I wrap my radio in it like a little blanket. It's like a little baby blanket. So I gotta make sure that's up off the ground. Okay. Uh, I like to run in the 143340 range. The first little number that shows up there is what it starts at. It linked up right at a 2 to 1, tuned down to 1 to 1. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I mean, for just putting in about a 20 minutes of, of trimming, I think that'll do. 1.7 to 1. So, the fact that it was already tuned 2 to 1 and then went down, down to there is about 1.7 to 1, tuned down to 1 to 1. Um, you know, when these things tune, they have a little bit of a uh, memory in there, so... Um, I wouldn't call it a fresh tune, um, but I'm definitely in the band anywhere from lower flow 14 megs to uh, upper 14 megs and uh, able to tune down to 1 to 1, no problem. I mean, even a 2 to 1 with no tuner is okay, you know, in a lot of people's books. So I think from there, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to kind of tidy up the, uh, the connections at the ends and uh, make sure that's nice and tight, but pretty happy with it. Now I'm going to take it up to a, um, a summit. And I'm going to compare it to my 16 gauge speaker wire. And what I'm going to do is basically set them up side by side, at least probably a couple feet apart, uh, so they don't interfere with either one, uh, each other. And try to get some contacts and then tell the chasers to just wait one second while I hook up the other antenna and then try to get a signal report. It's, I'm not mostly concerned about the power signal, but just the voice. Is the voice coming through better, less? Is there more clarity? Is it less? You know, which one's coming through more, like which voice is more powerful is uh, what I'm going to be searching for. So with all settings, exactly the same, same radio, same everything, same microphone, everything. Uh, the only difference is going to be the antenna. And the antennas is going to be just about the same, tuned up to one to one. And they're going to be, you know, side by side and we'll see which one comes out better. You know, it's a nice little test because I've always thought maybe the little bit thicker wire might have a little bit better bandwidth and uh, yeah for voice so it's gonna be a nice little cool little test look at this little mini baby lizard Can you see that baby lizard he's been hanging out all day and uh, I've never seen such a tiny lizard I mean he's like I don't know oh, there he goes I mean, this is a baby lizard thanks I hope it uh, this helped a little bit I hope it uh, give you a little bit uh, you know an idea of how easy it is to make one of these antennas for your kicks too um, I like I really like running 20 meters on the soda summit because during the day 20 meters just is the best sorry but um, you know I don't run CW um, if I ran CW 40 you know different different bands 30 you know think different things are gonna do better but um, I like running 20 it's gonna be super light so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up this antenna and we're gonna see how much it weighs because <laughs> I know it's gonna be a lot less than my uh, my 16 gauge speaker wire so uh, that's coming up next so hold on now it's time to throw both antennas on the scale side by side one after another so you see the difference it's pretty astounding um, like I said a half a pound wasn't a whole lot you know going up mountains for something that was good quality and really worked I knew I was gonna get out didn't have any issues but now you know here we are a couple years later and now I'm looking to do something a little different so we're gonna check it out right now okay watch this so the old setup the mighty post is hope you can see that 0.6 pounds and 
now it's set up point one pretty awesome here you go saved about i don't know what seven ounces eight ounces right around there so not bad all right check it out let's see what the uh see what the signal reports say that's going to be the key determining factor whether that thicker wire is worth it or not